an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Hmm, really? I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Hoo 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 hoo. There, I did it. He's completely lost his drive! Like a one hit wonder who clings to their former fame! Uh, my head! Listen up, Kokichi! To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. Isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locked the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked, so you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm-hmm, I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So 
so she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> Mew is waiting for me to arrive. Sure, she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. Look at where her avatar fell. It's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So her meeting with Kokichi. She stood me up. Mew is waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. That's wrong! Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Then why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? Must have been some special method only Mew knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! Besides that signboard, maybe. Or instead of bridge, Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. I suppose it is possible she used that to change places. Man, you guys are way off. Or maybe I'm just pulling your legs! The way across it only knew me about. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard maybe. Or instead of bridge, knew you some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Or she used a warp zone! Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. I agree!
That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi! Hmm? What is it, Kaito? Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Nothing to do with it? <laughs> you don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. What we gotta figure out is how Mew got from the chapel to the men. So why waste time talking about the impossible? It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. You get it? So let's go through this one more time. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an op- I'll cut through your words! The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means... The virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi. Please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Hmm. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That co 
cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you know have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! Monotaro? Listen to you talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden root in that virtual world. Uh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh! If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. So now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. When you wouldn't have done something meaningless, she would have had a plan. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet. But once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of... virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. Alright, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah! Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? This is it! You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. Too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay, well let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi?
The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. as though the sign was carried against the river's current.
We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up! Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that you set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? That's it! What if both ends of the river were connected? Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. What? 
What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. I got it. I know why Mew only set up one wall. What are you talking about now? That's it! The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi! Just tell us! It's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch! If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? <laughs> <laughs>